Welcome one and all to the Ferret and Raccoon podcast episode 179. I am your one and only host for this podcast, The Angry Raccoon, bringing you the first podcast of November 2021. And boy, has it been a ridiculous last two weeks for me personally. Now, there's a lot of explaining to do because I've been kind of hinting at the fact that something has been happening or going on over the last few weeks or so, or few, few podcasts, however you want to, you know, determine that or refer it to. But essentially, I guess I can finally now say that over the last month, more specifically the last five days, let's just say, I've been in the process of moving house and have finally moved house which is why you're probably hearing a lot of background noise or this podcast might sound a bit different or strange because my room, which I'm currently recording in, is not finished. So obviously there's going to be echo and it's, you know, because my shelving and everything isn't put in place and you're most likely going to hear a lot of background noise because I am recording after the 5th of November, which is Guy Fawkes Night or Bonfire Night. So you may hear some rogue um, fireworks and explosions going off there is nothing I can do about this. It's either record now or you have a late podcast and this podcast is short enough as it is. So yeah, that's what's been happening, but I'm finally settled. I had pretty much a week to rest because the moment the last podcast went up, it was pretty much packing and preparing. It was a four day process, guys. It was long. It was tedious. It was rough. I was up from 5am getting the last few things done and then four days later, we didn't finish dealing with the old house until 3 a.m. in the morning. And then I had work at 9 a.m. in the morning. So I have been spending the last week or so just recovering, which is why I haven't really watched or done anything. But I'm in the process of watching a few things because I know we are almost at the end of the year. We only have a few podcasts left until everyone's favorite time being the end of the year podcast comes about. And yeah. I am looking forward to actually catching up and watching some things and hopefully talking about some things in the last few episodes and, you know, final end of the year podcast. But there's been some interesting things going on in the world. There's stuff that, you know, I don't really or don't really have an interest in, which I'm not going to be talking about. There's a few trailers which I was tempted to, but at the end of the day, they were just going to frustrate me and I really don't care. And It's honestly the reason why the podcast is as short as it is. You may be wondering, it's not because I'm being lazy. Excluding those few things I'm not going to be talking about, you might know if you lived in 2021 or if you're that much of a historian, you might know what I may be referring to, but I'm just honestly just done with it, to be honest. So I wanted to talk about things that actually interested me and I thought were interesting. And yeah, that's why the podcast is as small as it is. So the first po- um, not podcast, excuse me, the first trailer we're going to talk about is for the series Arcane. I believe that's how you pronounce it, which is going to be a Netflix animated series. It is the final trailer because this completely missed my... I, I just wasn't aware of this series until literally right now because I was only made aware of it because of the studio that is animating this series, which I should say is based on League of Legends. Now, I don't know anything about League of Legends, never played it, and I honestly never will. But this is a series, I guess, as some kind of origin story, context, lore, who knows? If someone's played League of Legends and can fill me in really quickly, I'd love to hear from you. You know, hit me up on Twitter or my email, or even leave a comment on this video, because, yeah, I'm interested, especially after watching this trailer. But yeah, it's coming from the studio Fortuny. I'm not 100% how you say it. I'm not, excuse me. I'm not sure how you pronounce it uh, because it is a French studio. It's uh, spelled F-O-R-T-I-H-C-T. I've completely mis- messed up the spelling as well. It's F-O-R-T-I-C-H-E Productions. They are a very underrated animation studio despite doing a ton of amazing short, smaller projects. And this is like their big, big series. Because uh, they've done other League of Legends stuff. They did the um, K slash DA pop stars music video thing, which had that really annoying music video attached to it. Um, they also did the music video for Gorillaz with Do Your Thing, as well as a two-minute short animation piece, which kind of served as a prequel 
to Guardians of the Galaxy with Groot and Rocket Raccoon, which had a fantastic art style, which took the, I guess, yeah, style of, I believe, artist slash illustrator Scooty Young, who did a fantastic comic with Rocket Raccoon back in the day. I'd highly recommend that one, if anything. And yeah, it's nice to actually see them doing something really big. And I definitely wanted to talk about this trailer because I love the studio and I think they deserve a lot more attention. And even talking about the trailer itself, it looks pretty nice. It has a nice cell shaded slash stylized 3D look about it. It looks very well animated. Once again, I have no idea what's going on in this series. I don't know who any of these characters are. I know the, the blue Harley Quinn head girl is Jinx, I believe, and she's a bit psychotic or whatever. I don't know. I only know League of Legends via Comic-Con. That's it. When I've literally been taking photos and filming and asked people who they are, and they've been like, oh, I'm Jinx from League of Legends, or I'm Poppy from League of Legends. I think that's another character, right? I, I, I don't really know that much about League of Legends. Never played it. If Ferret was here, he'd be able to fill me in. He's not here right now because he is a massive League of Legends or was a massive League of Legends fan. So we'll just have to settle with uh, my lack of knowledge, I guess, on this front. I usually like to come out as the, you know, I know everything kind of guy to some extent. But here I don't know anything. It looks cool. It has a bit of a generic story with the whole, you know, revolution, you know, people underground, people in the high ground, you know, the rich, the poor. That's very seen that, done that quite boring to some extent it's honestly the animation and the action which has really got me impressed and I have a feeling that this series might just be a show reel of just really good fight scenes and cinematography cinema uh, choreography as well so I'm really interested in this series I don't think I'll watch it though in in a sense where I'll be invested in it. I think it's something that I would love to look and read the art book of because once again the studio behind it are fantastic and as a little bonus because this podcast is as short as it is I will link you their website which then links you their other projects that I mentioned so there you go sticking with animation we have the teaser trailer for Lightyear which is essentially the I guess origin story of Toy Story character Buzz Lightyear which is already very confusing because in the context of Toy Story he was just a toy who had the context of being a space ranger. And the films never explained this lore or mythos behind the character. Because as far as I was aware, he was just a space ranger. He was just spaceman who fought Zurge. I guess because of money, they now need to give him an origin story because apparently he's the most popular character ever. But honestly, this trailer was really boring. Like, I was shocked as how as to how boring a Disney product could be like you know Disney is not perfect I do not hold Disney in the highest regards I can probably name you five more studios that I think have produced better material than Disney in the last five years you know simply put but yeah there's nothing special about this trailer I really not feeling the hype I don't know if this is like meant to be a smaller budget project maybe that's what it is I don't know but I mean for starters that modern take or modern trendy slowed down reworking of David Bowie's Starman was so cheesy to use as like the trailer's instrumental I mean way to take the soul and the energy out of a classic and just like completely just ruin it and have it attached to this bland series of visuals it's just ugh, awful and I think probably one of the biggest problems I have with this trailer and this the whole concept behind the show is the fact that Buzz's design in the original Toy Story films was, all, was always an over-exaggerated style or take on a human. I mean, his design was meant to be the example of what you think of when you hear the word spaceman. That was it. In some sense, he was meant to be generic looking, much like Woody is meant to be generic cowboy man. So... But with this series, they've gone too realistic with the animation, and they've like the whole series has like this oddly realistic slash cartoony style. It doesn't look like it knows what it wants to be, and it doesn't work, especially with Buzz's like look. Like because they have to have such an iconic character in the series, and they can't just you know tell a story about someone else in Buzz Lightyear's world. Which I'll be honest, that is interesting. That's fascinating. I'd love to know 
you know, the origin of Zerg. I'd love to know, you know, what it is to be a space ranger. You know, I'd love to see more alien characters, see the technology of, you know, um, that world that he comes from in a TV world. That's fascinating. That's awesome. Especially as soon as Star Wars isn't going to do it because Star Wars is creatively bankrupt. You know, this is their chance to really do something sci-fi, space opera and epic. And here it just looks very, very, very safe. And I can kind of prove that in a few examples. And the problem with his design is that he doesn't look like he fits in his own world. He honestly looks like one of those illustrations you see online of like, oh, this is what Buzz Lightyear would look like if he was a real person. It looks like that. And it's really hard to kind of say, oh, that's that's the Buzz Lightyear you know from the films. It doesn't work. And it is really just strange how they've gone about this, especially, you know, one thing I noticed in this trailer, because I've watched it a couple of times, because, you know, for the podcast, I do watch them a few times. Where's the colour in this series? Like, this is this is meant to be some kind of futuristic world, right? Like, this takes place in the future, or at least an alien planet? Like, what's going on? Like, this is Disney. You know, known for vibrant, interesting, and colourful visuals. I mean, why does this look like Call of Duty all of a sudden? Like, it looks very generic, it looks boring, it looks bland. I can understand they might be trying to go for a more... How do you, how should you put it? Simple, origin-esque, you know, plain, clean slate kind of aesthetic to some extent. And I get that, but you really gotta go all in when you have a brand new platform that is still kind of failing when it comes to animated TV series, because... Let's be real, everyone's watching the Marvel shows, they're not really watching the animated series as, as far as I'm concerned. And it's just very bizarre, like, I really don't get it. And I mean, of course, they have to have the cute robot animal, you know, companion in it. I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to buy toys of them as soon as the series releases. And even that character itself, it's just a cat. There's nothing creative about that character's design. Because I'm sure it's going to be like a prominent character that does wacky and zany things that you can buy and your kids will fall in love with. Same thing with some of the characters. They look bland and generic. There's nothing interesting with them. You see him grab, get grabbed by some kind of tentacle creature. Nothing interesting there. Seen green tentacles before because I've watched a lot of hentai. But um, yeah, it's just you know nothing. I mean, I'm honestly surprised they didn't go all out like they did in that very early... Well, not really early... Um, there was an animated um, Buzz Lightyear cartoon they did years ago, either in the 90s, early 2000s, and that depicted space rangers from all over the galaxy. There was a guy who was like this big, tough, um, red-skinned guy. There was like this really cool like female character. She had like red hair and she was blue-skinned. We need more of that in this series. We need more variety. I mean, heck, sell toys of those characters because at least that's something new, something interesting for this franchise and series. But... I digress. It's Disney. If they want to play it safe, let them play it safe. They're not getting my money. Anyway, moving on to the next trailer, we're kind of going to switch gears a little bit and talk about something that actually looks pretty cool. We've kind of dealt with the bad. Now it's time for the good. And we're going to be talking about the trailer for Black Friday, which is, I guess, is getting a lot of hype because it, of course, is going to star Bruce Campbell, most famously known for the Evil Dead film, Sam Raimi, which is awesome. And this film honestly looks pretty fun. I, I'm actually really excited for this film, and I fingers crossed it's really cool. The trailer itself, though, was a little bit too long, and it spoils a lot of the story. So if you kind of want to go into this cold, maybe don't watch this trailer, because I'll give you the brief synopsis. Basically, zombie outbreak in a toy shop uh, during Black Friday. Bruce Campbell was in it. And speaking of Bruce Campbell... I love the fact that he's actually in the film, because in the beginning of the trailer, you see him behind, um, I guess he's in like some kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, his office, I think he's the manager, and you see him kind of talking on the speaker slash tamoy, whatever you want to call it, and I immediately thought, oh, he's just going to be in that room for the whole film, kind of guiding the people, or, you know, he's going to be the bad guy, like, oh, you got to sell the toys, or whatever, you know, because he just wanted a quick paycheck, and, you know, they did his, they filmed his scenes in an afternoon, but no, he's an actual character in the film, like, he's there, he's running around, he's fighting zombies, that's awesome, like, Bruce Campbell is an awesome person, and an awesome character in pretty much every film he's been in, and 
it's awesome to see him in this kind of similar setting, but something new. He's an interesting man, and he deserves all the credit he gets in in some sense because he's he's a pretty chill dude. If you ever seen um, interviews with him, he's just the nicest guy from what I can gather, and he honestly looks good for his age. I really like his sort of toy maker grandfather look in this film. It's it's quite funny to see him kind of dropping one liners and you know almost running around like an old man. And I like the fact that he hopefully isn't going to be the bad guy of this film. I know there was one line we did say, oh, we're, we're, we're guiding people away from toys on Black Friday. And I hope that that was just a line of him going, or at least not realizing the seriousness of the situation. But yeah, I mean, the film itself, it's not totally new as Dawn of the Dead from 1978 already made commentary about like zombie about the zombie like nature of like communism not communism excuse me oh kind of misspoke there commercialism um and uh but at least this film is doing something new of a more modern and recent trend of people lining up outside shops and fighting each other and beating their heads in in order to save a few pounds it's a crazy world we're currently living in and uh yeah I think this film is probably going to reflect that pretty well but uh yeah the makeup itself is not the best i've ever seen but they've stylized it in a pretty interesting way where they're more monster than simple walking dead which i think is quite nice and they do have a sort of evil dead like vibe about them like each zombie that they seem to fight does seem different you know stronger faster you know like more of a defined face i guess you could say and i think they even imply that the zombies themselves are like they imply that they're building something, which is interesting. That kind of reminds me of like the kind of thing that a deadite might do uh, from Evil Dead if you've never seen it. But yeah, also go watch Evil Dead. It's awesome. But yeah, it's an interesting film. Also, one thing I noticed that was really weird in this trailer was that they used, they showed a sample from a Chucky film. I don't know if it's a new TV series, but they showed something of Chucky and it's the line where the girl says, oh, Chucky says we're all gonna die. And it's really weird that you would use that in a trailer because you would save that foreshadowing for the actual film. Really weird, really weird. I don't know what was going on with the editing with this film, but hey, I, I mean, I didn't edit it. But yeah, actually really excited for this film. I really hope it does well. Once again, like I said, fingers crossed it does well. Fingers crossed it's good and people enjoy it. Uh, one of the last ones we have, we're kind of going into a few things I more or less want to talk about as we wrap up. Uh, is going to be the trailer for Dawn of Monsters, which I believe WayForward is producing. I'm not necessarily sure if they made the game, but essentially this is a sort of 16-bit kind of arcade-esque brawler, button mash, side-scrolling, kaiju fighting game where you essentially kind of play as, I guess, sort of like a hero, kind of think uh, Ultraman or um, Jet Jagar to, to an extent, you know, fighting kaijus, saving the city. It looks awesome. It has a nice style. There's some great animation in this trailer. I just wanted to throw this trailer some love because WayForward make and produce some fantastic games that are very much in the spirit of gaming. This game looks cool. Hopefully it does well. Hopefully we get a physical release. If you're into games, please go tell more people about this trailer or game more accurately and one other thing not really a trailer but because this podcast is short it was something i saw that was really cool and found out because uh, i'm surprised it was not actually added on my calendar given how much i like the series and that is that it is or was uh godzilla's 67th birthday which is awesome that the character's been around for so long and there is a five minute short film titled godzilla and hydra Hedura, I, I don't know how you exactly pronounce or say its name, uh, Hedura, which is spelled H-E-D-O-R-A-H, um, yeah, directed by, oh gosh, I am not even going to attempt to try and say the guy's name, given that I've stumbled already on so many words, but yeah, it's a short film, I'd highly recommend watching it, especially if you want to see an actual Godzilla piece of media, Godzilla vs. King Kong, I haven't seen it, and I probably never will, but I will say this, that was not a Godzilla film. Go see this instead, or go watch this instead. It is fantastic. And there's not going to be a discussion this podcast. We're going to save that for the next podcast, which I believe Owl may be on. So look forward to that. But we do have the video of the episode. 
and the video episode ties into something I've already kind of mentioned with Godzilla and now this, and that is, uh, it is November, and with November it is Remember November, as I like to call it, as we go back and we kind of think back and talk about other things that have happened in the past that we want to think about as we kind of wind towards the end of the year. And a perfect example of one video I'm going to use for the video of the episode is going to be Jamiroqua with Virtual Insanity, you know, bracket the 4K upload of the video. And yeah, interesting and fascinating song. It's a very relevant song to me right now, and unfortunately a very relevant song today, as it was still a very relevant song back in 1996 when the song and album titled Traveling Without Moving came out, because it is celebrating its 25th anniversary and it has a reissue on vinyl which is awesome so i wanted to leave this video it's a song i absolutely love it's a music video i think it's fantastic like i said before a lot of relevance to my life and the world in terms of the things i've said to keep that in mind when you listen to this episode and also some references and relevancy to jojo's bizarre adventure part six but i won't say any more because i know people don't want spoilers but yeah Go into that with that. Also, go listen to more Jamiroqua. They deserve more love. You've probably heard a lot of their songs, but their albums are fantastic, especially the album this song comes from. But yeah, that's pretty much going to uh, do it for this episode. I know it was a brief one. I know it was very short. I know it may have sounded weird. Hopefully it doesn't sound like too distracting or anything. And if it does sound awful, I apologize. I wasn't exactly going to you know, use up the last of my energy to get this room sorted just for the sake of a podcast. So yeah, my apologies if it doesn't sound too great, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode as it is going to be one of the last ones this year because I believe it's two more normal podcasts than the end of the year podcast. So not including this one, we have three episodes left before the end of 2021. Just think about that. We're almost done with this awful year. But yeah, I digress. It hasn't been that awful, actually. There's been some good stuff, I'll be fair. I'm, I'm trying not to end this podcast on a pessimistic note. You know, that's not fun. But yeah, I guess I'll end this podcast like I always do by saying I was the Angry Raccoon. And I will see you on the... Oh gosh, I don't know if you heard that. It was a loud firework just went off. Sorry. I will see you on the next podcast.